Alors on est de retour sur Vagram.net avec Nifty de Renegade. So hello Nifty, how are you doing? Very good, how are you? So I'm fine, thanks. But you just won like 16-7 against Virtus Pro in the elimination match. How was the game? Uh, you know, it, it was good. I mean, we f I felt like the whole team, including myself, we were very like composed, you know, and just felt really good just through the whole entire time. I think everyone had like supreme confidence just for whatever reason you know like uh, a lot of people were uh, very good at just going in and just getting those kills you know and i've always said that like you know the more consistently like we can just get those kills like i feel like our games are just would just be easier you know but uh you know we know that british pro has been on a downward slope so um just unfortunate for them i suppose i don't know uh yeah. first half you were winning 14-1 so what was your mindset and after that uh, did you feel a comeback from uh, from them Uh, no, I didn't fear a comeback. I, I knew that we had uh, those two rounds locked down eventually. You know, it, it might take a couple of rounds just because of CT economy and stuff like that. So, um, but at 14 one, you know, I just knew like, okay, you know, we're gonna win. So it felt good. So we're gonna come back and Nix us out of the team. Uh, so why why are you kicking him? Uh, was it a lack of skill or of, uh, team team spirit or what's what was lacking? Um, it definitely wasn't skill, you know, I mean, we try to make sure that everyone we pick up has skill, you know, they're able to actually frag at like the top level and stuff like that. So, um, no, it wasn't that, um, we just felt like he didn't have like the right things that just kind of like fit our team. And I mean, I guess you can say we're still experimenting with that right now. So, um, and that's what we're trying to look for in, uh, in jaywalking, uh, in other words, David, we like to call him David. We don't call people by their aliases in this team. So, <laughs> um, But yeah, it, it wasn't a matter of skill. It was just, we just felt like he didn't have what we were looking for, I guess. And we learned that after playing with him for mm, four or five months or so. Uh, so to replace, uh, to replace him, you took uh, Jay. So how was it going with Jay? Uh, were you looking for him, especially him? Or uh, well, was there some players you wanted? Yeah, yeah, I mean, we had um, we were looking at like a lot of different options, you know, but uh, a lot of the roster changes, they kind of just, they were just, it was like Tetris, you know, like there was a lot going on. Um, so a lot of names got crossed off and stuff and, 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 and David popped up and he was an option and we looked at him and like, okay, you know, like, yeah, like, let's, let's just give it a shot, you know. Um, I mean, why not? So that's pretty much how we landed on David and, uh, You know, we've been playing with him for about a week and a half, two weeks, so um, we don't really know a whole lot about him still. <laughs> uh, was it difficult, uh, the discussion with him, to get him into NA? Because he's Swedish, he, and uh, was there a long uh, discussion for him to come? Was he, was he worried to come to NA? or? Um, no, he actually wasn't. Uh, I, I wasn't there for like that initial discussion, but from what I know, like he was just like, okay, you know, like I'll, I'll come. <laughs> so he, he kind of just like took the opportunity at hand. So good on him for that. Uh, now uh, we're going to talk about your situation in the uh, NA, the NA rankings. So who, what do you think you need to, to go to the top of uh, NA teams? Um, well, what people of this roster, you know, especially the, the core three for the past couple of years have said, like, we're just one player off from being like top five NA, top three NA, you know, something like that. And I mean, I kind of agree with them, you know, so that's kind of what we're doing right now. We're trying to search for that fifth player and we're trying to find exactly what we want and see who has it, see who doesn't, stuff like that. So, um, I mean, I hope, I'm hoping that David could, could have that. So, um, I mean, I have confidence in it. Um, for tomorrow's game, it's gonna be Navi against uh, Astralis, I guess. What do you think of this matchup? So that it's like top is are in top five world. Uh, who do you think you're gonna face so, the day after? Uh, I think we talked about it a little bit, and we talked like if we if we beat Virtus Pro, that uh, I think we'll end up playing Navi. I just think Astralis will take out Navi. I just don't think Navi's at that level yet to to necessarily beat Astralis. But I guess you can say anything could happen. I'm not sure. <laughs> um, but you know, we're we're expecting to play Navi, I guess. But um, and I don't know if I would prefer that or not. Maybe I would just because I don't know. It's kind of boring playing the same team, you know, twice. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I, I, we think it's going to be Navi. Okay, thank you and good luck for the the next uh, match of the tournament. Bye.